Hey there. This week the Columbus Symphony is playing Mendelssohn's Scherzo from the Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, I'll demonstrate some of the articulations in that, uh, different ways to approach the articulation problems. Um, but needless to say, anybody who has played it or worked on it um, knows that it's, it's uh, very tricky and uh, it's legendary in its trickiness. Um, the combination of soft and light and fast staccato um, makes it uh, one of the more challenging articulation pieces for any instrument. So, um, if Mendelssohn only knew. Um, but before that, uh, we actually perform also, we're going to be performing um, Les Nuits d'été, uh, The Summer Nights uh, by Berlioz, Hector Berlioz. And it's a gorgeous song series of six songs, song cycle of six songs, all very sad songs, but beautifully, beautifully composed um, and, and uh, orchestrated. The accompaniments in the orchestra are just um, like paintings, color paintings. Um, anyway, there's one particularly challenging passage, which is in a, a fairly fast 6-8, so it actually has a similar articulation problem to um, some of the licks in Mendelssohn's Scherzo, which is in 3-8. And um, it's, the, it's at the very end of the last piece called, called, called um, Unknown Island, or L'Ile Inconnue. Um, and right in the middle of it, all of a sudden, in this beautiful lyrical, all these pieces are soft too, um, comes this, this series of sixteenths, uh, all tongued, <laughs> all articulated. And uh, so, and the tempo is about 84 to the beat. So, um, I can single tongue that fast for a couple of beats, uh, but not for the whole six, seven measures that this uh, lick runs. Uh, so I start single tonguing for the first two or three bars, and then I go to double tongue. And um, hopefully you won't be able to hear when I go to double tongue, but you probably will. Um, the problem is double tonguing steadily from the beginning without any accents is, is kind of difficult. So I can single tongue for a little while, and then I have to switch to double. So hopefully it'll go something like that, maybe a little better uh, tonight. And then uh, let's then I'll demonstrate uh, the Mendelssohn Scherzo now, which is on B flat. And we're doing the whole Midsummer Night's Dream uh, music, so the overture is fairly long. Uh, and it's on the overture is on A, and then we switch to a cold B flat and start the scherzo. Um, so what I'm doing is is taking my A barrel, uh, which is shorter, and then putting it on the B when I play the scherzo, so that uh, I'm not too flat. Um, so the way I'm approaching this, there's several solutions to the problem uh, of uh, this articulation. Um, one, if you have a fast single tongue, you can single tongue everything, um, and goody for you. <laughs> um, if you have an okay, pretty fast single tongue like I do, um, I can comfortably tongue this up to maybe 84, but we get into 88, 90, 92 gets a little hard for me. Um, so one solution is to, to, for if you only single tongue, if you don't double tongue, is to um, play the first note articulated with a who instead of two. So so the first couple of bars would be two, who, two, 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 who, two, 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 who, two, 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 who, two, 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 who, two, 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 so there's lots of who's every time the 16th group starts. And that would sound something like this. Okay. Um, and the nice thing about that is it, it gives you um, 
a kind of a nice soft air attack on those accents in the sixth and seventh bar uh, on the B's, which are actually tricky because if you're playing all soft, you don't want that B to screech out, but you want to play an accent on it, so it's a delicate thing. And so the air attacks actually help you a little bit. So a little more up to tempo. Okay, so I could do a little more action. I'm still kind of gauging how much to do in there. Um, and the uh, another alternative way is to double tongue everything, um, which is probably what I'm going to do tonight, because um, I find that I have the most comfortable control um, over slight changes in tempo. Um, of course, it has its own set of particular problems. So this is 88 to the uh, bar. And slowly, by the way, double tonguing, it's very kind of legato. I, I do an air lift at, uh, sort of articulation on the first beat and then very light on the 16th. that legato, when it's fast, it's still going to sound plenty short. So, let's try a couple bars with a double time. Okay, so what I do with the top of that run, I do some single tongues. So I have to switch from double to single. Um, so slowly, I mean, you have several choices. Um, the reason being that double tonguing up there is really splatty and it's almost impossible to play as soft as necessary, uh, diminuendo. So to do it slowly, I go da ga da ga da ga da ga da 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 ga da ga da ga da ga da 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 okay? And diminuendo the easiest up there is to really relax the armature and the jaw and just let the, the tongue and the soft palate stay very 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 light one of the other things uh, that's difficult about this is these the what looks like the easy bars the three eighth notes within a bar rest after that it's very difficult to place those with the right sense of phrasing meaning uh, a dancing, uh, sort of a dancing downbeat with two light uh, other beats and still finish in time, start on time, finish in time so that the next person playing the next set of eighth notes um, uh, can match you easily or the sixteenths underneath can match you. So they are almost more challenging in a rhythmical sense than the articulation is. Um, so putting the metronome back on 88. Um, so not only not only do we have to articulate two sixteenth measures in a row, then suddenly there's three eighth notes which are critical right after it. So the the party's not over. <laughs> so let's try that with the metronome, tonguing it with that sort of hybrid combination of double and single, going to the three eighth notes after. Think of articulating the note almost before the beat, like a grace note. Tut 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 tut. So the uh, the H of that aspiration, uh, the aspirated H, is really where the note comes. So listen, see if you can hear that. tonight, um, 
it won't bother me because I'm double tonguing. So the, the troubles that I have to go through to work on double tonguing to make it um, comfortable are worth it just because you never know. Sometimes the conductor goes a little faster than they did in rehearsal and you have to be able to go with the flow. So I've got this on 90, let's put it up to 92. I don't think it's going to go that fast, but going down, I think of them starting almost before the note, before the beat. So there you can hear how I, because it's so fast, um, if I almost begin the trill early, was, it just prevents me from being late. Especially the last one, it's almost for the downbeat. So, so then we have that lick in the middle, which starts on the, after 16th rest. So it's particularly hard to double tongue that because it's hard to come in on a gu, and it's very lopsided, misaccented. The beats are off if I start with a single, I mean with a duh there at the top. So, now that was almost right in the accent, but it sounds a little bit loud on that first sixteenth, which it shouldn't be. It should really be the sixteenth should be a pickup to the to the real beat, which is a sixteenth later. And the problem with double tonguing that is that you either have to start on a gu or if you start on the ta, um, then the off beats, the off sixteenths, are too accented. It's hard to accent the guh properly. So what I've decided to do is wing it with single, and do a huh in the beginning, huh, and then ta -da 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 and hope that I can do it light enough. But what I'm doing to help my fingers and tongue, I'm really thinking fingers way ahead of the tongue. So.